Bruce Moore, and you're watching Brutally Delicious, the only show on the planet that combines the love of good food with the love of all things heavy. I hope you're hungry today, because we're going to be joined by Kiss Me Deadly. We're going to be making up some ahi tuna appetizers. Before we get started, we're going to need some ingredients. Let's see what they are. Rice cracker, hot sauce, goat cheese, avocado, sushi grade ahi, soy sauce, wasabi powder. So now I invite you to kick back, relax, crack the top on your favorite cold one, and always remember, my friends, keep it metal. So if you're anything like me, you're working up an appetite. I can eat all the time anyway. Let's go ahead and join Kiss Me Deadly as they cook up some delicious ahi tuna appetizers. Come on. Hey, welcome, guys. You want to introduce yourselves? Um, Evan. Jen. I'm Madeline. What do you play? I play uh, bass and guitar, Kiss Me Deadly. I play uh, mandolin and guitar. And I play the drums. And, and don't forget the glockenspiel. Oh, and I play the glockenspiel. And the bazooki. And the bazooki, oh. And, and the, the banjo. banjo. And the banjo. Nice. So, well, what do you guys have uh, in store for us today? Well, yeah. we have um, a, kind of an appetizer or tapas, if you will, um, that I, it's kind of, I created a, um, a sushi concept. This is ahi grade sushi. Um, and it's kind of like a. Sushi grade ahi. Oh yeah, sushi grade ahi, <laughs> and it's kind of like a, a deconstructed roll. I love sushi, but I really love the rolls. So they have like the rice outside of it. And so all of a sudden, it just kind of hit me, just like a, most of my ideas do. I just kind of go, oh my god, and then um, I just thought of it. Basically based on kind of a hot, uh, like a hot spicy roll with avocado and tuna. Only yeah. deconstructed. It's a deconstructed, vertically stacked tuna tower with wasabi power. We're using rice crackers, well, because I, I like to be gluten free. This is a layer of heat. I saw a drone buzzing in my yard. I tried to weed it. Man. Are you just slicing that up, what, yeah. like quarter inch slices kind of thing? Pretty much, yeah. And I guess the goal is we're going to top these. <laughs> Um, but I was dating this guy for like five years and you know, he just was so into food and he was just an amazing chef and I kind of learned how to cook from him and um, like I was this little sous chef. So that's how I learned how to like slice the avocado and things like that. Very hard. I went inside. Jen is our sushi cutter. All right. Okay. She invented this dish. Well, I consider myself a conceptual culinary artist. Um, and I would say that um, Evan would be more of like the practical culinary artist and, and also Madeline, she can cook extremely well. So I just really think of it. <laughs> yeah, the color's got to be right. You know, when you go to a good, when you see the work of a good chef, a good chef uses the color palette. And, yeah. you know, for us that's really important. This has this incredibly like creamy, crunchy mouthfeel to yeah. it. That's, that's really fun. Creamy, buttery, crunchy, spicy goodness. So like we were talking about a little bit earlier, that's not something you're going to want to sniff. No. <laughs> yeah. This should add a different type of heat than we get from the, um, ooh, that one's going to be. Because this one's going to like double up on it because you got the sriracha and the wasabi. Right? And the wasabi. But the goat cheese will smooth it out. Yeah. And it's 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 going to be kind of back-ended though, right? Yeah. Yep. This is really hot for a second, and then every, then the rest of the ingredients cool it off, you know, and then you get this other hot on top of it. So there's kind of like a story in the mouth, in a way, that plays out um, over the course of taking a single bite of this dish. Right, that's that's part of the sushi experience. <laughs> How are we doing here, guys? Yeah, it's good. Looking good. Okay, so then we add a little drizzle of soy sauce. You can't add too much because you don't want the crackers getting soggy. So you're just going to add a little drizzle. To change my blouse, I turned around and the drone's inside my house. And I, I thought I would die. All right, so here we are at my favorite part of the episode, the eating. So if you want to go ahead and give this a shot. Why don't you Absolutely. do the honors? Thank you. Actually, we can all do the honors together if you want. I Let's do it. Great. Well, cheers. Yay. Yeah, we do food cheers. Yeah. I'm in our band. That'll probably That's one of the things that, we, the things that we do. <laughs> Put that down without destroying it. I got you there. Yay. Okay. All right, I want to thank you guys for coming out. This looks absolutely fantastic. Anybody out there? 
I wish you could smell it. Just the smell of the wasabi and the whole thing together is fabulous. Hey, cheers. cheers! Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. One, one shot. Mm -hmm. That is off the chain, man. Boy, you got knocked out of the park. Thank you very much.